well. Look what the wind blew in. So you want to learn about the music business, huh? All right, let's get started on REN 101. All right, today we're going to talk about music publishers. A band, an artist writes a song, and then you want to get it out in the world. So ultimately, you will find your way to a music publisher. Uh, typically, for a lot of artists in the past, the first source of income you got was from a publisher. So there's lots of publishers that if you could write a song, if you were in a band that were writing songs and they believed you were going to get a record deal, a publisher would sign you in advance of a record deal and perhaps even give you an advance against your royalties. Uh, the publishing business is, is, is an interesting business. It's, it's somewhat passive in the sense that they don't spend money typically marketing the records. They don't have a lot of front end costs beyond your advance. Um, the biggest source of publishing income in, in, in days gone by, and it's still true today, is from mechanical royalties. When a band writes a song, or an artist writes a song, and they put it on a record, the record company has to pay a mechanical royalty, and they pay it to your publisher. A mechanical royalty, when you put out a record, a record company pays the publisher for the right to use the song in a recording. And, and for that, they pay a royalty to the music publisher, and by extension to the publisher and the, and, and the writer of the song. And it, there's a statutory rate, I think it's nine, we'll call it 10 cents for easy arithmetic right now. So if you sold a million records in the past and you had 10 songs on that record for a buck, you'd make a million dollars in publishing income. That's a big part of the income pie in the past and it's decreasing now because uh, the record sales have dropped. So as record sales have dropped, those mechanical royalties have come down. Now for lots of artists, the biggest or the most fastest growing source of revenue is licensing income. Whether you license it for a video game, you license it for a TV show, you license your song in a movie, the publishers are the ones that get the share of that. The record company, if they've recorded the song, they also get a piece of that income as well. But you have to have both of them. The recording and the publisher have to agree on the licensing fee, but the publishers are very active in that role. The publishers also perform lots of other roles. If you're a songwriter primarily, if you're Diane Warren or you're a big songwriter, you can write a song and have 20 people record your song. So the publishers were key in getting your music out to record producers, other artists that help you generate money. Uh, the Beatles wrote all those great Beatles songs. They recorded them all, but m hundreds and thousands of other artists have also recorded those very songs. The publishers are a key part in that, in that process there. Lots of artists have the option of being the, both the artist and the publisher. If you're an artist publisher, then you have to have somebody to go out and collect the money, which means you need to build an infrastructure to do that. So it means if you've gotten airplay and you've sold records in different countries around the world, you have to have some ability to go out and collect it. The publishers have a whole large infrastructure, a whole large staff that deals with nothing more than going out and collecting the money in every territory around the world. So while you might have written a song and be big in America, that song might also be getting play around the world. Gautier is from Australia. He's getting a ton of play in America. He needs somebody to collect that money for him in America, somebody to collect that money in Europe, somebody to collect that money in the Far East. And the publishers provide a wonderful function in getting that money.